In today's video, we are going to talk about how to keep your cat calm and safe during fireworks. A loud boom rattles the house and little red cowers in the back of the closet, shaking with fear. Usually a calm, playful orange tabby, little red gets very anxious on the 4th of July. As the fireworks continue, she has an accident in the hall. One minute, she's clingy and the next minute she's under a chair, hissing. Fireworks can be terrifying for a cat. Read on to find out more about how cats react, and what you can do to help your kitty this 4th of July. When cats are scared, their survival instincts kick in. They might hide, urinate in places they're not supposed to, scratch, hiss, or vocalize their frustration. A time that is festive, fun, and exciting for most Americans is often terrifying for dogs, cats, horses, other livestock, and even wildlife. Unfortunately, the fireworks aren't always confined to just one day either. Your enthusiastic neighbors may begin the celebration several days in advance and continue for days after the Independence Day holiday. Shelters in the United States say July 4th, 5th, and 6th are the busiest days of the year as they take in lost pets that flee from their homes after being startled by fireworks. They see cats that have jumped from high windows, raced in front of cars, or run blocks away from their homes. Some cats are injured at home from toppling furniture or chewing their skin raw. In short, fireworks and cats don't mix. What can you do to protect your kitty? First, recognize the behaviors that signal your kitty is stressed out. Before getting into the calming tips, here's an important safety tip that should be taken care of if you haven't already, have your cat microchipped. Even indoor cats should be microchipped in case of an escape outdoors. ID tags on collars are good but they can become separated from the cat. The safest form of identification is the microchip. The information on the registry should also be up to date. It's also a good idea to make sure you have a current picture of your cat. Most cat parents have quite a few current pictures on their phones already but just double check that you have a clear and sharp picture just in case the unthinkable happens and your cat gets lost. According to PetMD, your cat may exhibit the following anxious behaviors when they are frightened. Trembling. Hiding. Excessive vocalization, meowing, hissing, shrieking, etc. Excessive grooming. Trying to escape. Destructive or aggressive behavior. Heavy, open mouth breathing. Failure to use the litter box. Diarrhea. Fortunately, there's quite a bit you can do to help your cat get through this year's neighborhood fireworks. Prepare your cat to deal with loud noises. Drive. Marty Becker, aka America's veterinarian, recommends preparing your cat for the noise ahead of time by exposing them to recordings of fireworks, then give them praise and treats for staying calm, to associate the noise with good things. PetMD adds that desensitization and counterconditioning are the most effective way of handling fear, phobia, or anxiety. By exposing your cat to loud noises and providing them with a rewarding stimulus, they learn not to be afraid of the trigger event. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Create a safe space in your home. When cats are scared, they like to hide in a safe, dark place. If your cat has a favorite hiding spot or is crate trained, fill their safe place with comfortable blankets and bedding to ensure they feel secure. Include their favorite toys or other distractions. Be sure to include a small litter box if their usual box is at the other end of your home. You can also stay in the same room with your cat. Close the windows, pull the curtains or blinds, turn on a fan, and then snuggle up together. Mask the sound of the fireworks as best as you can with white noise, gentle voices, or soothing music. Try not to leave your cat alone during the fireworks, but don't feel you have to touch or hold them if they aren't comfortable with that, they might be happier under the bed or in a closet. Expect them to head for their favorite safe space, and you can hang out nearby. Create a safe room that has several cozy hiding places in it as well as a litter box and a water bowl. If your cat has a history of being frightened by fireworks or thunderstorms, place her in the room to get settled before all the noise begins. If she's terrified, create a tunnel to the litter box so she can get there without feeling too exposed. You can use a cat tunnel you already have or make a temporary one out of paper's bags. Cut out the bottoms and tape the bags together to make a long tunnel. To prevent your cat from hiding under the bed or in the back of the closet, create a cozy hiding place that provides comfort. You can purchase a cave-style bed or you can even make your own by stretching a t-shirt over a box. Position the neck hole of the shirt over the opening of the box. Place the box on its side and line it with a soft towel or fleece pad. Prevent your cat from escaping. 
Noisy fireworks and other celebrations can startle cats and cause them to run away. If your cat is usually an outdoor cat, secure them in an internal room so they cannot escape from a door or balcony if they are scared. Be extremely careful when opening doors that your cat is secured. If you have guests over, make sure they know how quickly your cat could dart out when the door opens. Check screen windows to make sure your cat can't claw or push the screen loose. Panicked cats have been known to pry flimsy screens loose and topple out of windows. As always, make sure your cat has an updated name tag on a properly fitting collar and is microchipped. If you've moved recently, take a few minutes to go online or get on the phone to update your contact information in the microchip database of the company where your pet is enrolled. Distract your cat with sounds and games. Distraction can be the key to making sure your cat doesn't get too upset with the fireworks. While it's tempting to keep the windows open in July, keep them closed to muffle the noise of explosions. Close the curtains before the fireworks start. The flashes of light might startle your cat too. Once the night has arrived, turn the TV on and the volume up. Cats are used to hearing sounds come from the TV and it can help calm them down. If you're not watching TV, turn on classical music, which seems to help calm animals. You can also turn on a fan or the air conditioner to muffle outside sounds. Cats love to play and hunt. If you're feeling creative, create a fun kitty treasure hunt with small dishes around the house. If you, or they, aren't up for a game, try a new toy. If your cat responds well to catnip, that's another option. Stay calm. Encourage your cat to stay calm by acting calm yourself. Don't punish your kitty for their fear or anxiety, as this will only increase their stress. While some cats will want to be held or cuddled, avoid holding a frightened cat against their will to calm them. Instead, let but let them come to you. Trying to keep hold of a panicking cat can result in injuries to you and the kitty. Stay calm, and follow your cat's lead when it comes to interaction. Explore medication or alternative therapy. If your cat has had an extreme reaction to fireworks or loud noises in the past, check in with your veterinarian. They might want to prescribe anti-anxiety medication or sedatives. There are a few alternate routes you can take if your pet is still struggling with fear during fireworks. Some pet owners swear by calming collars. They contain pheromones, which appear to make cats feel more secure. Pheromones also come in spray versions. A compression jacket like the Thundershirt calms many cats by making them feel hugged and held securely. Temple Grandin, professor of animal sciences, researched this method and discusses it in her book Animals Make Us Human. Dr. Grandin advises putting the wrap on for 20 to 30 minutes, removing it for a similar period, and then putting it back on. Schedule your cat sitter. If you plan to be out of town for the holiday and fireworks, this might be a good time to have a cat sitter who can check regularly on your cat's health and safety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.